Power Teacher. We're going to show a quick, easy method for tracking attendance based on a course and an attendance method not used in traditional attendance tracking methods to be able to track attendance. So we have a class called Sunday School. We have Sunday School and Church. Actually, we want to do this for. So what we've done is add that to the teacher's schedule. The teacher will then create an assignment. Here we've created three assignments. So out of a quarter period in the year, nine weeks, say, uh, Anakin Skywalker has only attended three times. We create an assignment for each week. That way we can visually quickly see how many times he's been. We give it a name. We have to put it in a category. You have to assign some points. It doesn't really matter what it is. You can use 10 points. The due date, make sure the due date is within the quarter date range or else it'll show up in the next quarter. You want to exclude it from final grade calculation. You do not want to check this box. reason why you don't want to skew that grade or have it counted in the final grade uh, calculation. So once you have all these things hit, you'll click save and you'll get your assignments. Here you'll double click in the box. You put in the one for the one week that he attended. So we see here out of the quarter nine weeks, Anakin has only made it to church or Sunday school three times. What we do at this point, it doesn't automatically, automatically calculate. I've already put the manual override in, so I'll double click and show you what this looks like. So you have manual override. You'll put a check in this box. You'll pick his number that he gets. You'll hit close. Now at this point you can run the permanently store grades function. It'll store this number. This number can be pulled in reports, object reports, um, report cards, whatever you want to, wherever you want it to show at within PowerSchool. Hit save and you're done. Again that's one quick easy method to look at uh, an attendance method that you do not want to count in regular attendance. There is another way that I will post soon that you can do this in conversion scales and traditional attendance methods in here. Uh, it's a little more standardized than your normal way of taking attendance, but stay tuned.